Well, hello everybody and happy Saturday. It's Saturday, June 25th, 2022. And the picture that you're looking at is not what we're making. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. I took the picture four times and it kept saying unable to upload the thumbnail. So this is what we're making. It's this beautiful card using the brand new paper from the Celebration catalog, the mini catalog, which hopefully most of you have in your sweet little hands right now. Um, if you don't have it and you're one of my customers, you should be getting it in the mail any day. It looks like this and it will be coming with the um, holiday mini also. They come together as a bundle in the mail. So um, I've had a few people say they haven't gotten theirs yet and then a couple of people got theirs today or yesterday. So they are coming. It just depends on your mailman. And uh, if your mailman is a stamper, they might have just taken it. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> this is... I can't show you the inside yet because it's not live, but um, this is the stamp set and the paper that we're going to be using today. And it's the same one that I used the other day when I made this gorgeous card. So if you missed that one, make sure you go back and watch it because it's beautiful. And I love, love, love this card, even if I say so myself. <laughs> so this one I came up with today. And I know some of you guys might have missed me on Thursday, so I got to tell you that story because it's just been a heck of a week. So, um, I'm telling you. Oh, hey, Alex. Um, hey, Anya. Hey, Brenda Elaine. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Debbie Spicer. Hey, Terry. Hey, Carla. Hey, Anya. Hey, everybody. Um... So anyway, Thursday was just a heck of a day and uh, it's just been a heck of a week. So I'll tell you about that while we're stamping. But um, anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday. Sorry I missed you guys on Thursday. Hey Sandy, happy birthday. I just got your picture and sent you a note back. Hey Audrey, hey Amy. It was beautiful here today, but I stayed inside all day. I was going to go sit out in the sun, but um, I just have not been really feeling great. I've just been so tired, and I don't know why, but um, I was stamping for a while, then I had to lay down and take a nap. <laughs> and I tell you, just like, I'm just so tired, I'm dragging, so hopefully I'll get a little bit more peppy during this video. So this is the card we're making. Here is the paper. I showed you that the other day, and it is absolutely beautiful. And um, we're using this piece right here, which has that on the back. This is the piece we used the other day, which is also gorgeous. All the paper in this pack is absolutely beautiful. So that's the same piece. And I almost used this one for this card. I'm going to try it out and see if, how it looks with that paper um, right here instead of this one. But I thought they were both really pretty. And then I also took this piece and I punched them all out. So I was going to do something with that. Let me grab them here. So I have all these pieces that I punched out, and I was going to do something with that, but I ha I couldn't figure out anything yet. So that'll be a later card or sometime down the road. Um, so anyway, that's the paper, and that's free. You get that um, and the stamp set, this stamp set, with the paper, and it's free with $100 or more order starting on July 1st. So that is in the celebration catalog. So hopefully you guys will love this card and have to have it. And um, also I used this card, I mean this stamp set for the words right here. I used that one right there. And I love this little stamp set. I'm getting ready to sneeze and I'm trying not to. <laughs> you ever know that when you feel a sneeze coming and you don't want to do it? So you're trying to hold it. Um, so those are the two stamp sets you need for this card and then the paper, of course. So that's that part. And then I did get some happy mail. This is a really cute card I got in the mail from Mary Ellen Bray. And it's an explosion card. So isn't that cool for 4th of July? And <laughs> she signed it me, which is her initials. But I was like, at first I thought, well, who is me? <laughs> and I looked on the envelope. <laughs> So I thought that was funny. I have a friend named Melissa, and her last name starts with an E, so she signs everything M-E to you. So I thought that was funny. So thanks, Mary Ellen, for that cute card. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and also, all those cards that I was giving away the other night. Uh-oh, you got blurry? Somebody's got blurry? That's not good. 
Hopefully it's not a thing. I don't know. I always worry when I can't do the thumbnail, upload the thumbnail, then I get worried that um, the internet is not working very good or something because it's um, not uploading right. Um, all right, let me go back and say hello to everybody. Oh my gosh, we've got a ton of people on. Hello, 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 everybody. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Sh oh, we got two Sherry's. Hey, Jude. Hey, Heather. Hey, Sue. Debbie Spicer, I have a card for you tonight. You won one of the cards. Um, uh, okay, good. Most people are not blurry. That's a good thing. All right, so... All the ones that I had the other night, only one person claimed it. So I'm giving, I put new names on them. So Debbie Spicer, you're getting this one right here. So I probably have your address somewhere, but I don't know. So just send it to me again. So you won that one. This one is Barbara Drake. This was just the regular one, not the explosion one. And then um, Catherine Howe, you won this one, which was that right there. And... Ainika, or I, I can't remember if it's Ainika or Enika. I know you told me and I forgot. <laughs> I think it's Enika, but um, you won this card, and I'm sure you're probably in Germany, so I'll send it to you. Just send me your address. My email is stampgirl2 at cox.net. Just email me your address. This one is the explosion one. Lorraine Bilios, you won this one. Brenda Hightower, you got this one, which is the picture that was up on the screen from a while back. Nobody claimed this one. So you won that one. And Lynn Reeder, you got this one, which is the um, Nature's Print one. So all of you guys send me your address. Some of you guys are probably have it, but I never want to go look for it because I don't know where it would be. Because, you know, I'm like unorganized in that area. <laughs> All right, so hello, 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 everybody. Happy Saturday. I'm so glad to see you guys. I was worried I wasn't going to make it on here again tonight. I really tried on Thursday, but I'm telling you, it was just like a horrible day, and I just I just wanted to lay down and not do anything. So I didn't do a video, and I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. So this is what you need for this card. So we've got 5.5 by 8.5 white. Um, five and a quarter by four pair pizzazz, um, five by three and three quarters polished pink, four and a half by three and a half of the designer paper, the wonderful world one that I just showed you, a scrap of white and the little tag from the tailored tags. So that's what you need for this card. Let me scoot it over just a little bit and take a screenshot. Oh, hey, Debbie, you're going to put my card in your Lisa collage. That's good. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Andy, you're from Eltopia, Washington. I've never heard of that. We've got Florida. Lots of places on here. Okay, so take those off. And first thing we're going to do is cut the paper. So you need to cut it into strips that are one and a half inch inches wide. So we're gonna just take the paper cutter and take this piece and we're gonna cut it at one and a half inches. And well, I'll just start at three inches because we start at four and a half and it's one and a half. So you're gonna cut it one and a half and three inches. So I'll do the three inch one first and then you wanna keep them in order and then do one and a half inches So now we've got our three pieces here and they're all in order. So that's easy peasy. This would be an easy card to make a ton of. And those three go together like that. This is just gonna glue on there. So we just have to do a little bit of stamping. Now I tried doing this with the marker and when I started coloring this with the marker, oh, let me show you what happened. So this is how it came out, and I really was not happy with that look. I don't know if it's because my marker is brand new and it was just too juicy, but then I stamped it with an ink pad and it came out fine because at first I was worried the stamp was bad. But an ink pad worked fine, so then I did it again and it came out bad. And then I tried it with another ink pad and it came out fine. So here's what I ended up doing, and you can do this too. So just get a, a paper towel or a napkin or something. And we're going to... I took... You know, you don't want your pad too juicy. This is a distinctive stamp. 
And when you have these distinctive stamps, you want a pad that is a little bit on the dry side, not juicy because then it won't come out very good. So I took um, a bone folder and just went across it to take the ink off. So I'm just gonna ink up just the edge on here, the edge, just the flower part. So I've got just the flower right there. And if you get a little bit on the um, leaves, just wipe it off. And then we're gonna take the marker. So I do have the pear pizzazz marker. And we're gonna, oops, I just stuck my finger right in it. And we're gonna color the leaves with that marker. And it's gonna come out way better. So I'm not sure I used the marker the other day when I did the blue one and it worked fine. I'm not sure why this one doesn't like the marker as much. And then we're gonna go to re-wet it and stamp it. Oh, it didn't even come out that good on that one either. That's weird. Maybe I shouldn't huff it. Oh, I don't have another piece of paper. <laughs> well, luckily for you, I already did one ahead of time and cut it out. <laughs> so we're good. And the funny thing is for this one that I cut out ahead of time, I forgot to clean the stamp because I stamped it in pink and then I kind of wiped it off, but I didn't clean it all the way. So the leaves came out like a mix of pink and blue. So I guess don't huff it for this one because this, I tried to stamp it in the dry part, but let me try one more, but I don't have any more paper. Let's try it again and see what happens. Usually I keep a whole bunch of paper in here. Hold on, let me look. I don't see any, nope. Well, I'll just do it on a notepad and show you. Let's just do that part of it. I don't know why that's not coming out good. That's really weird because it came out perfect. I guess maybe I should scrape it again. So just take your ink and scrape it so it's kind of dry on that spot and not super juicy. And then it should work better. Let me try it one more time. I'll just do the whole thing. Yeah, that comes out better. So it likes a dry pad. So make sure when you're stamping this one, your pad is not juicy. So you just scrape the ink away from wherever you wanna ink it. So luckily I have a backup one. Oops, I still need the words. We're gonna do the words. Oh, we gotta do the inside too. So we do have to ink it up again. So hold on. Let's try it one more time. So we're gonna stamp where the dry part is and then wipe it off with the paper towel. I thought about doing surgery on this stamp, but no, that would be too much trouble. <laughs> that would be way hard. All right, so we're gonna color this. I'm not gonna huff it this time and see if that helps. So that'll get it a little bit more dry. All right, so we're gonna stamp the inside of the card with this one. Oh, that came out perfect. Look, that's so pretty. All right, so it does work. And then we're gonna take this one and stamp it on our tag, the just a note, right in the middle. And there you go. So we've got our just a note, and you can use any of the sayings in there, but I like that one. That's good for just about anything. So, oops. There we go. All right, so. While I put this together, I'm gonna tell you about my day. So it's just been one of those weeks where everything that can go wrong goes wrong. And um, hold on, let me read comments really fast. Oops. Yay, Cheryl, you made it to the live. Thank you, Audrey. You guys are so sweet. I love how you crack yourself up. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you like that. All right, so we're going to glue these three pieces down, and let me get my glue holder. So, um, my mother has been really sick lately, and she was in the hospital, and then she got out of the hospital, and then she's been back in the hospital. And so, she just got back out of the hospital, and she wasn't feeling good. So, um, well, first, I went to the dentist on Wednesday, and... Um, I got bad news. I have to get like $10,000 worth of dental stuff done. So I was really upset about that because that is a huge chunk of change for anybody. But um, I was really upset. And the main reason I was so upset is because I switched dentists because I got tired of my old dentist. 
that I had for 30 years that I just felt like he was doing a really crummy job. And I was right. So I would go to the new dentist and they have this, um, they take digital pictures of your teeth. And when I was younger, I took um, tetracycline as an antibiotic for, I had a lot of ear infections. And what happened was it stained my enamel of my permanent teeth. So I was always really self-conscious about my smile. So when I got my braces off in ninth grade, they had just come out with veneers. I was like one of the very first people in the country to get veneers. And back then they were only $50 a tooth. So I went straight from the orthodontist to the dentist and got these veneers put on. And it was the first time in my life, I was in ninth grade, it's the first time I ever remember actually smiling without putting my hand in front of my face because my teeth looked beautiful. And it was just like the greatest day ever. And so anyway, I had those veneers for quite a few years, but since they were kind of plasticky, the first ones, they, um, you had to get them replaced about every, I don't know, eight years or so. So after I got out of college, I got them replaced. And by then they had gone up quite a bit and they were not plastic anymore. They were like, um, something better. But, um, so then after I got married, you know, I was getting to the point where I needed to replace them again. And the dentist said, why don't you just get crowns? Cause now they're almost the same price as the veneers. Cause now the veneers were porcelain. And oh, this ribbon is the one that comes in the pack called Old, Old Olive and Sahara Sand Twill Ribbon Combo Pack. And it comes with, now I don't know where I put the other one. I just had it a minute ago. It comes with a green one too. So it comes with both colors. The, other, the green one's a little bit thinner, but you get a combo pack and that's in the new catalog. So I'm just gonna measure a piece a little bit longer on each side. So anyway, um, I got those done and this was back when I was teaching like 20 some years ago. So I got my whole top of my mouth crowned. So you know how much money that costs, but I had, um, saved up for like a couple years to do it. And, um, so I've had those crowns for years and years and years. So I knew eventually I was going to have to replace them, but I didn't know like when. But when they took these pictures and showed me like up close in the back of them and a lot of them are cracked on the back and um, they have like a little decay and stuff. So my old dentist was not really doing pictures, so I had no idea. So anyway, the new dentist is like, you really should get them all replaced at once, at least the front six as a minimum. So that's what I'm going to do. But I was just so upset about it because I'm like, dang it. You know, just one more thing that has to, you know, when you, like the economy is sucking right now and you have no money and <laughs> gas is expensive. And so I was upset about that. Then I go to work Thursday and um, my mother calls me at work and she never calls me at work unless it's an emergency because I told her I just can't talk on the phone. And she's like really upset crying and she's like, I need you to come get me and take me to the emergency room. And I'm like, I can't leave work. I said, you know, I just can't. And she's like, please, please take, come get me and take me to the emergency room. So I left work and go get her real quick. And I'm driving like 80 miles an hour. Luckily I didn't get a ticket. And um, I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals. And I take her to the emergency room and get her all checked in and everything. And I had to go back to work. And um, so she calls me that night Wednes or Thursday night and so she went to the hospital because she was having these stomach things that she's been having like she had pancreatitis and all this other stuff so she went because her stomach was hurting so bad but she was also really swollen so they did an EKG and turns out she has congestive heart failure so they're keeping her in the hospital now to do a whole bunch of tests and um so that happened and then so that was Thursday and then what else happened it was just a crazy day I had this patient that was horrible and rude to me and um I don't know it was just a bad day and I got home late and uh I just didn't feel like doing anything except laying down so that's why I didn't do a video Thursday 
so I knew I really felt bad because I got home and I said I really want to do this video but I just couldn't I just didn't have the energy or the strength so I hope you guys forgive me for that all right I'm looking for the ribbon I just put it away here we go we need one more piece to tie a knot so we're just gonna tie a little knot because you guys always make me feel better and I knew if I did a video I'd feel better but I didn't have anything planned to do so I would have just got on here and been talking and not have anything to show you. Oh, I do have a funny story though from today. So, um, oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Yes, if you can pray for my mother, that would be really, really good because she needs some prayers. And the dental, pray for my dental work too because <laughs> I got to come up with a way to pay for it. <laughs> All right, so I just tied a little knot on that, and then we're going to put um, a glue dot on it. And so my funny story was today. So I, I last night after I got home from work, it was about 11 o'clock, and I needed some groceries from Walmart. And I said, well, so this I just hand cut, fussy cut it out after I stamped it. It's super easy. It takes like one minute to do that. I'm going to put dimensionals on this. So... I got in bed and I start ordering on the Walmart app and I set up the time for like nine o'clock this morning Well, I wake up this morning and it's like 830 and I was like, oh my gosh, my groceries are going to be here soon. And then I go look at the Walmart app, Walmart app to see like if it's, um, you know, almost ready. And, uh, I never put it in cause I fell asleep. <laughs> so I was like, dang it. <laughs> So I fell asleep right in the middle of doing that, I guess, and um, never finished it. So I had to, like, continue and finish it. So the, I had it delivered about 1 o'clock. So the guy called me on the way here, and he goes, Hey, Lisa, it's George. He said, I'm just uh, calling to let you know I'll be there in a couple minutes with your groceries. And I was like, Okay, thanks, George. And meanwhile, you know, I'm still in my, um, like, nightgown. And I haven't taken a shower, I haven't done my makeup, I haven't done my hair. I'm like, just look like I've crawled out of bed. And normally, they just leave the groceries on the porch. Oh, this is Winkostella, so we're just coloring with a little Winkostella, just to give it a little bit of sparkle. So hopefully you can see that. So this guy comes to the door, and he rings the doorbell. And, and then he stands there, and I'm like, oh, God, no, he's not going to stand here. <laughs> so I'm, like, waiting for him to, like, put the stuff down and go to the car. And I wait a minute, and he's just standing there, and I'm like, crap. So I open the door looking like a hideous mess, and he's this really nice-looking guy, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I was like, Hello. And he goes, hey, how you doing, Miss Freeman? And uh, he said, I'm, he goes, I'm not one of those regular drivers that just drops it off and leaves it because I want to make sure you get it in the house because it's hot out here. And uh, I was like, oh, thank you so much. Oh, and I forgot, okay, I forgot the other thing I got to tell you. So I burst a blood vessel in my eye on Wednesday night, well, Thursday morning. And so when I woke up Thursday, I had this eye that's like, all red and you know you know what a first blood vessel looks like so I looked like a vampire kind of and so that was scary so then I had to go to work like that so that was how my day started Thursday after going to the dentist Wednesday so it was just like if anything could go wrong it did all right so I'm just gonna put those two on there like that oh and these are the in color opal rounds and they're in the new catalog love them they're so pretty um, okay, then we're going to spray some shimmer spray and give it some sparkle and let it dry for a second. So there you go. So isn't that beautiful? So now you know why I wasn't here. <laughs> it's just crazy, crazy day. Uh, so that's what's going on. So hopefully you guys understand why I wasn't here and we'll pray for me and my mother. Hopefully she sounds okay. I just talked to her right before I did the video and she sounds okay. They gave her a lot of, um, some kind of stuff to make her get rid of all the fluid. So, um, 
Yeah, Vampire Lisa. It was scary. I still have it, too. It's it's not quite as bad, but, yeah, I opened the door, and the guy probably thought I was just like, oh, my gosh. I'm a hot mess looking right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. So make sure if you haven't subscribed, you subscribe, like, share, comment, all that stuff. Um, and... Don't forget to leave a comment on the regular part, not just here in the um, chat, but in the regular comment section after the video. So then I can go through and pick your name to win. And don't forget if you won today, if you're just tuning in late, I gave away a ton of cards at the beginning of the video. Lorraine, you won one. Debbie, you won one. Um, and I already put them away. But there was about six cards I gave away, so make sure you check the beginning. And... Um, I will see you guys later. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Thanks so much for joining me and listening to my saga as the world turns around Lisa Freeman's life. <laughs> Remember that show, As the World Turns? That was one of my favorite soap operas. That's what I feel like sometimes that I'm in the middle of a soap opera. All right, so I will see you later. And you guys stay safe and... uh have a great rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.